Hey guys, welcome back to Wixfix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. In today's video, I'm gonna show you hover interactions inside of the classic editor. Now, I really won't be focusing too much on the design aspect, but rather I'm gonna show you some cool techniques that you can use that can hopefully spark inspiration for how you can use these on your own website. Now let's go ahead and get started. So there are two elements in the classic editor that you can add hover interactions to. The first one being a box. So if you go to add box and you pull out a box onto your page, you're gonna notice that there is a lightning bolt icon here for hover interactions. And then the second thing that we can add hover interactions to is repeaters. So if we go down to add list and pull out a repeater, let's just pull this one out for now. And if we click on a specific item in the repeater, we're also gonna notice hover interactions here as well. Now I am gonna make this one a little bit bigger so that I can show you some cool effects that you can do with it. Now for this example, I'm just gonna go ahead and click on hover interactions for this repeater and press get started. Now, the first thing that you're gonna notice is the icons over here on the left are very minimal now. The only thing we actually have is add to hover and hidden on hover. Then we're also gonna notice that the rest of our site kind of got grayed out telling us that we are working on the hover state for whatever we are working on, whether that be a repeater item or a box. And you're also gonna notice that there is this new little menu thing right here where we can play the hover interactions after we apply in effect, or we can exit it right here. And last but not least, you're also gonna notice that on this box, we can see that there are two tabs. One is hover and one is regular. If we switch back over to regular, it's gonna exit the hover mode. But then if we wanna go back in, all we have to do is press hover interactions and edit hover interactions. Perfect. And the cool thing is, is with this container box selected, we can choose an effect. And as you can see, there are four main options that we can do. We can grow, we can shrink, we can rotate, and we can skew. And with each of these selected, you can also go into customize and choose how much it grows and you can also set a starting point. So as you can see, if I have the starting point from the top left, if I grow this, it's gonna grow from the top left instead of the center. But if I go back to center, you're gonna notice it looks like that. But for this, let's go ahead and make this 110, just like that, and we can go back. However, if you don't want just one effect, you can choose combo, and you can see we have scale, and the cool thing is, is you can change the proportions at which it scales. So you can scale the width or even the height completely separate. Now, this probably doesn't look very good for images, but maybe other boxes or different design elements, this might look really cool with. But we're just gonna keep it proportionate and we're just gonna set this growth to 110. And then if we go down, we can set the rotate the horizontal and vertical skews. And again, we can choose the relative starting point for these effects. Another thing that we can do with some elements is we can hide them if we don't think we need them on hover. So if we click on an element, we can press this hide element option right here. And that's gonna completely hide that element from the page. And it's gonna be available in the hidden on hover. So if you would like to undo it, you can just press show element again, and it's gonna put it back on the page. Another cool thing that you can do with it is we can change the design of this text. We can change the color of it on hover. So it looks something like that. Another really cool thing that you can do with hover interactions is you can add things to them. For example, we can add a button right here, and this can say, learn more. So now when we preview the website, you know, we get like an effect like this. Now again, this isn't very nice looking and it's not very functional right now, but I'm just here to show you some cool things that you can do with them. But now let me show you something like this. So right here we have a container box. Now let's say we want to add an image here. And for this image, let's go ahead and make sure that it fills the full size. So I'm just going to press crop and I'm gonna make sure that the dimensions for this image match the dimensions for this box that I'm in, which is 600 by 600. Perfect. Then we're going to make sure it snaps to the box by attaching it to the box just like that. 
So now what I want to do is go ahead and open up the layers panel. We're gonna grab this container box and we're gonna go ahead and apply a hover interaction to it. So maybe with this image selected, what we can do is add another box to this right here and we can make this box 600 by 600. We'll make sure it's centered up in our box and we can lower the opacity. Then we can add some text to it like this and then maybe even add a button. So now if we go ahead and preview the website, we can create a really cool effect that looks like this. Something that is super simple and clean. But that basically wraps it up for the video today, guys. I hope this helps give you some inspiration for hover interactions that you can use on your classic editor websites. But if you haven't already, please give this video a like and consider subscribing for more Wix content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you all in the next one.